Phone Trawler is a low-cost system to use mobile phones as touch-enable VR controllers with visual feedback of the operating hand to facilitate precise touch input. Hand capturing is achieved without external cameras or advanced phone sensors. The system consists of a mount attached on the phone with a mirror above the screen that reflects the front-facing camera. A VR tracker is added on top of the mirror to track the device in 3D space. Capturing is performed by the front camera through reflection, with a green screen and 2D markers allowing speedy and robust segmentation of the user's thumb moving above the screen. This thumb mask, or shadow, can then be overlaid as a semi-transparent texture on a virtual touch interface, such as the screen of a virtual phone, to help precise aiming of touch targets. Additionally, a deep neural network inspired by UNet can be used to infer the position of fingertips above the screen from the mask image. This allows input and feedback based on hover points without relying on other sensors. Visual pre-touch feedback can be used to operate mobile phones in VR applications, similar to remote controls. In a block modeling application, the phone is used as a pointing device to select blocks and a touch-based toolbox to activate tools. The compact toolbox interface is shown as a heads-up display in a corner of the viewport from which tools can be selected by tapping buttons with help from the thumb overlay. The toolbox can become a numeric keypad to enter specific numeric values for scale, position, or other parameters. The presence and absence of the thumb in the camera's view can be used as condition to show and hide the HUD. This allows the user to summon the tools only when desired and otherwise keep a full open view of the VR space. The block modeling tools can be used for another purpose, annotation of point clouds. In this version, Transparent 3D blocks are positioned and reshaped to enclose points belonging to a specific object to annotate, for example, a computer. An annotation can then be chosen from a list of existing labels, or a custom label can be entered manually using a touch keyboard. The user can change the location of the toolbox UI by grabbing it with the phone in an upright position, moving it to another location and tilting the phone back to disengage. Bringing the phone close to the headset switches to a center screen HUD with only icon outlines. This HUD style helps to simultaneously focus on content and tools. The application also supports the use of a second controller. In this bimanual configuration, the user points with the controller and selects tools with touch on the phone. This clearly separates the roles of pointing and touching, but also requires hand coordination. Hand shadows can also facilitate sketching with a pen. In this application, users doodle with a stylus on the phone and then use it as a rubber stamp to paste their sketch on a virtual wall. The overlay mask can also be used to identify pen from finger touches, for instance to switch to an eraser. Note again that no external marker or tracker is required to track the pen so that any digital stylus can be used in this setting. Finally, Phone Troller can be used purely as a touch device to enable mobile gaming augmented with VR. In this setting, the phone is held with both hands like a handheld console, and the touch overlay spans the entire viewport. In this game example, one hand or thumb is used to invoke a menu and perform actions on content located under the gaze crosshair. The other thumb controls targeted actions like wielding a sword in specific directions. The second thumb can also be used as an alternative pointing method. Using the hover point inferred by deep learning, objects can be selected and highlighted by hovering over them similar to a mouse cursor. In summary, Phone Trawler is a low-cost, low-engineering solution to support precise touch input on mobile phones in virtual reality. For further details, please refer to the paper.